The fertile delta of southern Bangladesh never stops providing. Rice is grown from October to March, and the resourceful farmers use the same paddy fields the rest of the year for their other rich harvest, shrimps. But while the rice growing cycle changes little, a revolution is occurring in Bangladesh's shrimp production. Forced to meet the exacting quality standards set by foreign buyers, the industry is transforming itself and reaping the rewards. Shrimps can now find their way to the biggest markets, the European Union and the United States, without any further checks. Buyers accepting that the producers' food safety standards for exports are world class. This has come about through scientists collaborating with producers to change the culture. If these farmers are to prosper and Bangladesh is to keep its place as one of the world's leading shrimp exporters, the emphasis has to be on consistent quality. That message is delivered by officials like Dr. Ishmael Hussain, educating farmers about best practice. Here at the village of Tatulia near Kulna, his team is now trying to streamline the process further, encouraging the farmers to form associations, cut out the expensive middleman and simplify the supply chain. It's a receptive audience. Many of them have directly benefited from being able to show that their shrimps are bred in a pure and healthy manner. In the past, it was difficult to maintain our family. When we cultivated paddy, it was not affordable to send the children to school. Now my children are studying in the university and doing good results. I am able to maintain my family by shrimp farming. People who are also working in my farm, they also become financially sound and independent. I came from a very poor family. After passing my school, I started shrimp farming by leasing land. Gradually, I earned a lot of money and able to purchase 20 acres land as well as 250 acres of leasing land. Now I am self-sufficient and able to maintain my family. Whenever I need, I get support from Unity Best Project. Their neighbour, Zahid Habib, has been able to acquire extra land and even branch out into dairy farming following his success with the new ways of fish farming. I follow good aquaculture practices in my farm to produce safe shrimp in hygienic way. During culture period, I keep records of all the documents and maintain traceability. For these purposes, any the best project support me in all aspects. These gradual improvements for the fish farmers derive from the Better Works and Standards program known as BEST, run by the government and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, and funded by the European Union and the Norwegian Development Agency, NORAD. Getting started was difficult in Bangladesh, where the exporters traditionally get their shrimp from many small suppliers and through a complex set of intermediaries. The program follows a farm-to-fork policy of traceability and quality control. Here in Tatulia, for instance, only homemade organic feed, rice bran and molasses, is given to the fish. After the farmers, scientists take over the best program Labs like this one in Kulna, replicated in the other main fishing centers, are supplied with the latest equipment. There are microbiology and chemistry labs where residues or impurities measuring one part in a billion can be detected. The new deputy director of fisheries for the region, Mr. Abdul Rashid, is himself a microbiologist and believes Bangladesh is building an international reputation for its health safety standards. The scientists and technicians here monitor samples from all over the region and can promptly block any suspected source of impurities. Attention is also paid to fish for the local market where officials acknowledge that some bad practice in shrimp production does continue. Fish processing factories dominate the river shore in Kulna. There are over 70 of them in the different fishing regions that are individually approved by the European Union. 
and it's only these plants that can send the shrimp on their final journey for export. Factories had to be rebuilt to meet the EU food safety standards. Even then, the shrimp that leave in frozen packages can be traced right back to the cluster of ponds they came from and even the shift that processed them in the factory. Here in Kolna, the Frozen Foods Exporters Association is building another training school and laboratory with the help of the EU. Humayun Kabir, a director of the association, believes this level of modernization will lead to a tripling in the value of exports. The Bangladesh Frozen Food Exporters Association have fixed a target that on, by 2015 we will earn uh, uh, 1.5 billion US dollars from this sector. And that is why we are working together for the development of the sector. Uh, we have a plan uh, that uh, by uh, food safety compliance, social compliance, we will reach the goal. Back in the village of Tetulia, Dr. Hussein keeps up the painstaking fieldwork of monitoring and encouraging the fishermen, joined by his colleague Dr. Shetty Tumbatu, technical advisor to the BEST Better Works and Standards program. BEST project, uh, uh, through its interventions from using farm to fork strategy, uh, we had uh, many interventions such as uh, traceability, good aquaculture practice, good legislations to safeguard the food safety, uh, safety of the fo uh, seafood being produced in Bangladesh. So this uh, project's main aim is to improve the quality infrastructure as well as to uh, uh, so that uh, national economy is uh, properly supported through income generated from seafood sector. And this is going to support uh, over a few millions of uh, Bangladeshis directly or indirectly involved in seafood sector. These are long days in the Bengali countryside for scientists and farmer alike. But as Bangladesh tries to position itself as a world leader in shrimp exports, they can see their work beginning to bear fruit.